welcome to the Top Gear test track. We're going to take a look at a bunch of cars that didn't quite make it into the main show and we're going to pit them head to head to see which one puts down the fastest lap. We're talking super SUVs, hot hatches, sports cars, old versus new, fast estates, retro electrics, nothing's off limits. First I give them a quick test drive, then our resident racing driver will set their definitive lap times once and for all. Today we've got Battle of the Retro Electrics. A whole new genre of futuristic city cars with a funky vibe. I wish I could explain to you how it sounds, but my goodness, I'm actually driving really quite quickly and there's just not a noise to be heard. Sitting at just a touch over £30,000, this city car is quite expensive. Coming up the straight here, is it, we're getting to sort of top speed? I mean, she's a good little crack to be fair. Putting the car from normal mode into sport now. It does feel like it's got quite a little bit of a pickup there. It is super nippy and quick and I can imagine in the right environment, if you were in London, if you are in a big city, this thing is absolutely perfect. We're putting the Fiat 500 Icon against this. This has got 34 more horsepower, so it should win a straight line race. But you never know what can happen out here on the test track. of these cars is quite ridiculous to be honest. I mean this car has a top speed of 93 miles an hour. You shouldn't be allowed to do that in something that looks as cute as this. The Fiat 500 Icon is just a touch over £25,000. It's got a bigger motor in it and it's also lighter and less expensive than the Honda E. So it's got a lot going for it but to be honest I think I prefer the Honda E Advance. It's got the looks and it's just, I think it drives a little bit better to be honest, especially as you've got the sports mode in it. Maybe that's a placebo, I don't know. But for me, it does the trick. Okay, now time for my predictions. I'll be honest guys, when I was driving these two cars, I really couldn't tell which one was going to win this. When you look at it on paper, the Honda E has more power, but it's actually a lot heavier than the little 500. That felt nimbler, quicker. But I think when you're looking at it, it's got some serious competition on this board. These are proper hot hatches. You've even got the Fiat 500 of Bath here. So I don't think they're being very fair putting these two cars on this board. I'm just gonna take a total guess at it and say that the Honda E comes in above the Fiat 500 icon. It's a total guess. Now all we need is a driver. Good job that I know just one for the job. Let's see how the stick gets on with these two. Three, two, one, go!
time to take a look at the results and see what these cars did out on the track. Okay, I'm hoping I'm right on this one. Okay, so the Honda E has come in with a 137.5, which makes me right for once. We've got the Fiat 500 Icon coming up behind with a 139.6. So the Honda E with its 34 more brake horsepower has just pipped the Fiat 500. Now, to be honest, these two cars are never gonna be seen back on a track opposite each other ever again. They're city cars, they're perfect for nipping in and out of traffic, but it's quite interesting to see that this one has got what it takes. Well, we've got plenty more cars coming to Stig's garage soon. We hope to see you there.